Hey, it's Jude Walker, and of course, doing the 97 day makeover, and we got a brand new partner on board with our 97 day makeover, Dr. Jason Abstract. Well, you go ahead and tell them uh, a little bit about what you do here at the, uh, the sports medicine clinic, if you will. But Jude, what we do is, is we do chiropractic care, but we specialize in sports medicine, mm -hmm. which means that we're going to take care of all of the, the extremity injuries that you might have, the things that you would, that you would get while you're working out. The muscle injuries, the weaknesses, the the, um, the restriction, the range of motion that would limit you from working out or playing baseball, as you say that you have to do. So it's real simple. Everybody, if you're doing this, uh, if you're joining along with the 97 Day Makeover, the aches and pains, this guy can help you out. And uh, we're going to get a little specific right now. I'll give you a couple examples. Bruce is going to get in here in a little while, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and talk about why I'm here. Uh, I've been playing baseball for a few years, and then while I'm doing this uh, 97 Day Makeover, the last couple of weeks, my show has really been acting up on me. Uh, so Dr. Abstra is going to give me a well. He's going to give me the breakdown and see if he can fix this. I'm sure he can. So here we go. Well, what we got. We've already examined you. We're going to kind of just show you what's going on. With Jude's shoulder here, he has a limited range of motion and internal rotation here, which means that his, his elbow is going to stop, which would signify a rotator cuff problem. If you come, and if you can see on this side, Julie, can you see on this side? This shoulder goes all the way back here. Okay? Wow. <laughs> so what that does is that tells me that this shoulder is not moving properly in what's called external rotation. Okay. Whenever it's restricted in external rotation, this tells me that the rotator cuff, which is the most common shoulder problem that we see, is restricted. It actually grows scar tissue. It limits the range of motion. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in there and we're going to loosen this up so the, so the ball and socket joints will work better. And as we, after we're going to treat them after a while and we'll come back and we'll show you how we improved and hopefully it'll get better. All right, so stay tuned. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Uh, that's the spot, huh? That would be it. Oh. Not back here. Yeah, that that's not real pleasant either. <laughs> Somehow I think they must be connected. I think so. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Bring your conclusion. What we're looking at in the shoulder is called an impingement syndrome. Okay. Okay. Basically, it's a, the muscle of your rotator cuff have to whenever this joint, so you have a ball and socket, mm -hmm. okay? It's going to work, it goes up to about 90 degrees, and then it starts to run out of space. So the muscles of the rotator cuff have to pull the, the head, the ball part, down mm -hmm. to allow you to finish getting it up. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not doing that because they're so tight in there that they're just not allowing it. Not enough space. So you're just basically hitting, you're hitting the bone, and that's, you run out of room. That's what's causing, and that will cause it. That was causing the nerve irritation, causing this to shoot down. Okay. So we need to work on the rotator cuff, loosen up those muscles, and train them to work in the proper fashion to allow it to pull that down. Because I can pull it all the way up. Okay. Because you're not using your muscle, I'm doing it for you. But if you try to do it, it's not working. Right. It's synergy. So that's what we're going to do to loosen this up. So we're going to do a couple different techniques, one called active release, and maybe one called grasping, some patented soft tissue techniques that we use. All right, so I've had my examination. Doc has worked on me a little bit. Just, just explain what exactly did you do to work on my shoulder. Well, we did, Jude. We ran some machines, which is electric stimulation and ultrasound combined, just to kind of warm up the muscles. Then we do a, a technique. It's called myofascial release. Um, active release is also a, a type of technique that's more specific to this, this condition that we do. You can look that up online. As a matter of fact, Dr. Terra was certified in it. You better go online and check that out. Um, so what we do is we're trying to break loose any scar tissue adhesions that would have formed just from overuse, those kind of things, from throwing the ball, any, anything that would restrict the range of motion. So we did that already, and we showed you a while ago the range of motion. And now 
we've already regained back some of that range of motion. So if we're going to show them, a while ago we were right here. And now, just in today's visit, wow. it's already done. <laughs> It had, didn't, didn't hurt too much either. There you go. So a lot of times people expect these shoulder injuries to take three, four, five, six months. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. And it's just not necessary. Once we break loose that he's and restore the range of motion, it's, it's almost immediate that you get the range of motion back and then we start improving and you get, you get better. You can play baseball without having to worry about it. Fantastic. So within weeks, I, I might have this thing licked, and that's what we're hoping for. So we'll be back here uh, next week, and uh, we'll keep you updated. You keep watching at 97.3thedog.com, part of our 97-day makeover. Again, Abshire Chiropractic Sports Center, and uh, you can find their link at 97.3thedog.com.